Client portals are essential for modern businesses, but Airtable really does lack native portal functionality. Here's how to add one using no code tools like Softer, no loco, or similar platforms. First, you're gonna to connect to Airtable with a front end solution. Now, why add a portal? Airtable does exceed and excel at data management, but fails and falls short on user authentication, custom permissions, and client facing interfaces. A portal layer solves these limitations. So once your Airtable base is structured, you're gonna to need to connect it with Softer or Noloco. This step introduces its own hurdle though. You can integrate them with Softer or Noloco, but you need to be prepared for limitations. Airtable's API doesn't support advanced queries or large data sets efficiently. You'll need to configure login systems in Softer or Noloco, linking users to Airtable's users table. Support for SSO or social logins isn't always seamless and mapping users to roles in Airtable adds complexity. Building a portal with Softer or Noloco connected to Airtable involves setting up key features to ensure seamless functionality and user experience. While these tools promise easy integration, Implementing key features reveals significant challenges. You also can make client-specific dashboards, as dashboards offer a personalized experience but come with scaling challenges. So what's the goal? To create personalized dashboards displaying data filtered for each client using Airtable views. Here's the challenge. Airtable views must be manually configured for each client. So there's a lot of API performance limits as well, because Softer and Noloco essentially have to go to Airtable's API and through it, and it can struggle with large data sets or frequent updates, which lead to slow load times or incomplete data display. Now on the form submission side, the goal is to build forms to collect client data, autofill specific details that are based off the client that's logged in and trigger follow-up actions. But there's a challenge here. In Softer and Noloco, the forms don't natively support pre-filled fields like client ID. This requires scripting or custom workflows, which kind of defeats the no code purpose. Airtable also has a lot of automation constraints as they have limits on the number of steps and execution frequency. Scaling workflows often necessitates third-party tools like Zapier, which increases the costs and complexity of this exponentially. There are also some limitations on Airtable form side regarding design flexibility, as there's only basic styling options, uh, limited layout customizations, and there's no multi-column layouts. And you also can't embed custom HTML or CSS logic and validation, and it only has basic conditional logic. There's no complex dependencies you can add in there, and there's no custom validation messages as well. I'd say overall, between that, there's no multi-step forms, no progress indicators, no save and resume. It's limited on mobile. Uh, I can keep going. There's no direct payment processing. <laughs> there's no file upload options, and there's no third-party integrations for the most part, and you can't embed it in external sites easily. So for all those reasons, it is pretty limited. Now, when it comes to automated notifications, you can notify users and admins about important updates like document uploads or form submissions. The challenge here is that there's limited notification options in Softer and Noloco, as they don't include robust systems for notifications. So you must rely on the Airtable portion or third-party tools, again, like Zapier, make.com, tools like that. And these tools are pretty limited by execution caps and require constant maintenance. There's also a timing issue. Notifications can lag if Airtable's automation queue is busy or if the API call fails, leading to a subpar user experience. While Softer and Noloco simplify front end design and offer tight Airtable integrations, their limitations quickly surface when implementing essential features. Challenges like scaling dashboards, automating workflows, and managing data security make it clear that connecting Airtable to these tools is far from a no-code solution. There's some other common challenges when you're dealing with a portal tool, like the API limits, as you have to, you know, always note that the data sync's gonna be a little less than to be desired, no matter what you can do about it. It is still pumping data through an API. The performance side, the cache is frequently accessing data. On the pricing side, there's a lot of cost considerations as you have to factor in both Airtable and portal tool pricing at the same time. And Airtable's API can be costly too. You also have to worry about storage requirements, integration maintenance, paying for additional portal solution license fees. There's, there's so many different things to consider. And a lot of times too, with these, for example, a client portal with a thousand end users can be very expensive. Like for example, with Airtable, it can be anywhere from 40 to $100. Software can be anywhere from 150 to $350. 
And then you have to add on also Zapier, which can be anywhere from 50 to $300. And this is anywhere from 240 to $750 per month. On the lower end, 240 to 300 per month with one to two seats on the Airtable Pro plan, right? The softer business plan on annual billing is in there as two, and the Zapier plan that fits limited tasks, right? So all of these things together are high price and not actually that much for you. And then you also have to consider the data and record limits, right? So for a large volunteer database, it might require you to have a robust Airtable plan with a lot of records, which means pricier. And the automation volume is gonna be way higher, which means the Zapier plan needs to be higher and more pricey. And then don't forget the membership side. So with like a thousand external users, software's membership and usage limits might be pushing you to the higher tier of the plan. And then you have the internal collaboration part, right? Your team members. There's additional internal seats or editors in Airtable that can quickly increase the monthly costs. And that's all option one. But for option two, you can use NAC instead. And here at NAC, we pride ourselves on having a much better pricing model than all of this. Instead of using Airtable for internal project management and client management, you could consider building a portal solution in an all-in-one NAC like us at NAC. The cost efficiency is way better. You can securely build your backend, frontend, and automations all on one platform with unlimited users, customers, and partners. There's a huge cost savings and role-based access control. And there's no need to procure Airtable plus Softer plus Zapier to build a portal. For a 1,000 user portal, it can be built in NAC starting at the Pro Plan, which includes the NAC online database, NAC flows integrations, and a front-end app builder with unlimited end users. That's right, I said unlimited. And this plan starts at just $99 a month for an annual plan versus $250 and up to even more if you combine Airtable, Zapier, and a front-end solution to this. On the automation and integration side, NAC Flows is right there. It's built into the platform. It's a really great tool. You can utilize so many different things with it. It has a lot of the similar integrations and options as something like Zapier, and you don't need to spend the extra money. You can send Slack messages, you can update statuses, you can update different platforms if need be, if there is something third party you need to integrate with, it's all in there. And on the record rules side of things, you can actually set up something like a record rule to automate data management by setting up conditions for when records should be updated, created, or deleted. For example, you can create a record rule that automatically updates the status of a project when certain conditions are met. For example, you can change a product status to complete when all of the tasks that are within it are marked as done. This can help you save a lot of time and ensure data consistency. I know that for me, I oftentimes get caught up in you know checking tasks off, but then the major thing, like the status of the project, I might forget. So having those conditional rules is really key. And there's also database-driven business logic. In typical no-code builds, data moves from the front end into a database for validation and then back to the user. But advanced logic often requires multiple automations or separate platforms resulting in scattered workflows, performance issues, and cluttered schemas. While tools like SmartSuite or Glide Tables offers incremental fixes, they still tie logic to the data layer, leaving makers to juggle complex formulas or turn to heavier backend solutions like Xano. An all-in-one platform like NAC, though, lowers these barriers by bundling the database, automations, integrations, and front-end design into a single system, allowing you to manage logic, create queries, and deliver a polished user experience. No extra data layering is needed. For no-code solutions aiming to be genuine app builders, Robust support for advanced logic is really essential. And NAC's unified environment offers a more efficient, maintainable alternative to piecing together Airtable Plus multiple different third-party services. And there's also really great customizable workflows. With NAC, it lets you create deeply tailored processes that can handle complex operations from CRM systems to inventory management. If you've ever found yourself bumping into Airtable's limits when automating intricate tasks, NAC gives you that extra freedom. There's also some really great advanced user roles and permissions. Airtable has a very rigid database structure. You can't set custom permissions and custom roles. They only have five pre-canned roles. And not being able to customize more deeply is very limiting for portal use cases with many different types of external users. While Airtable is great for simple use cases where everyone accesses the same data, but its filtering and views are not designed for things like multi-user systems with granular permissions, scenarios requiring robust data, privacy and security, complex dynamic workflows tailored to individual users, 
And for businesses needing these capabilities, tools like NAC provide a more robust solution with true role-based access control, where you can go into the portal and change what people can see based on what their role is. Secure filtering of records and fields, dynamic user-specific dashboards and workflows. NAC lets you set specific access levels for each user, perfect for businesses that require high data security and collaboration across multiple departments. While Airtable offers some permissions, NAC's granularity makes it ideal for sensitive data and diverse teams. Powerful API and built-in integrations are also a huge part of NAC. NAC provides really robust ways to connect with other business tools and custom applications using NAC flows. With an all-in-one tool like NAC, it's really easy to link your data with external systems. In contrast, Airtable's only offering is a handful of native integrations, and they're pretty limited if you need more heavy-duty customization. And last but not least, NAC does have an amazing custom user interface experience. It lets you design unique interfaces for different data views and user interactions. If you want to create a client facing portal or specialized internal dashboard, NAC gives you the flexibility to make it happen. Airtable's standardized design interface doesn't offer or match that level of customization. And don't forget with reporting like NAC's and all the tools that are right out of the box, that let you generate detailed insights without relying on third-party add-ons, this data analysis is so convenient and straightforward in comparison to Airtable, which usually requires additional integrations to achieve the same result. And sometimes you even have to pay for them. I really like the look of all of our dashboards inside of NAC as they just stand a step above the competition. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Click the link down below to try out NAC today, and we'll see you in the next one.